Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Celia and in this video I'm going to share with you exactly how much I've earned on YouTube. My goal when I started my YouTube channel was obviously to get monetized. However, I never thought I would be earning what I'm earning now this early on. I literally thought I'd be earning like maybe 20 cents a day, that sort of thing. But I'm going to show you in this video exactly how much I'm earning a day, what my channel usually stabilizes around, and also the highest earning day that I've had. I'm also going to run you through my monthly earnings, and I'm going to tell you about the requirements you need to hit to sort of actually get paid out and what the process is. I thought I would start with a little bit of a timeline. So I started my YouTube channel in April 2020 and my first video came out on April 29th. I then got monetized on January 29th, 2021. So a short, what is that? April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Nine months later. <laughs> so it took me around nine months to get monetized. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me sharing some information on my stories around like my whole YouTube process. And I actually filmed the morning that I got monetized. I knew it was going to come up because you can sort of see a pattern in like the number of subscribers you're getting or your average watch hours, that sort of thing. So I, I knew it was coming up. And here is the snippet I took on the morning that I got monetized. It's the 29th of Jan and it's 7.50 in the morning and I've just woken up because I wanted to see if it's been monetized. I'm clicking the monetization now. And for some annoying reason, my Wi-Fi is going so slow. All right, here it comes. I'll show you. All right, I'm waiting for it to load. Okay, <gasps> we're monetized. Apply now. So now I have to apply for the... <laughs> How exciting. Now, once you get monetized, there is a process to go through. So you do have to create a Google AdSense account. It does have to go through verification. I actually can't really remember the process. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it goes through verification and then you have to go in and add in all of your ads manually to your channel. So you can then go back to all of your old videos you've uploaded and then for any videos that you're uploading future wise, you can add in your ads. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into my computer and I'm going to share some of my analytics with you so I can show you exactly what I've been earning. Okay, we've jumped into YouTube Studio now and I'm going to run you through my analytics. So when you first go into YouTube Studio, it'll bring you to your dashboard, which gives you a bit of an overview. You can see my latest video performance. This video is actually doing the best out of any video I've uploaded. So I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to my analytics. If you want to see more of like a run through of YouTube Studio, let me know because I can make another video on that. But here, it automatically will show the last 28 days. So it's saying I had... Over here, you can see views. Um, I had 9,000 views, which is up 2,500. My watch time is also up 159 hours <laughs> up. And then my subscri subscribers is usually around normal. So two more than usual. It also shows you your estimated revenue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change it to the month of June. So we can see all of June's analytics. The day that I'm filming this video is June 29th. Um, so we haven't fully completed the month and this won't show the last couple of days of earnings, but it sort of gives you a rough idea. So if I actually, what I will do is I'll click across to revenue first and I'm going to run you through how much I have earned on the month. So here you can see monthly estimated revenue. So as you can see here, I earned $6.21 for January. Now I got monetized on January 29th. So I actually got only two days of monetization. So it was about $3.10 for each of those days. Um, now, so I mentioned earlier, there are requirements for once you actually get paid. So for you to get paid from Google AdSense, you have to hit the threshold and the threshold is $100. Obviously for January, I didn't meet that threshold, so I didn't get paid out for that. But in February, because I hit over $100, I got the payout for both January and February combined. Now with the payout cycle, it ends on the end of the month. So the, the last day of the month is when the cutoff is, and then you get paid that month's earnings on like the 14th or the 15th of the following month. So at the end of January, I didn't get anything because I didn't hit the threshold. But at the end of February, I then got paid mid-March. So March 14th, I would have got my pay for January and February. Sort of works backwards, but that, that's just how they do it. So yeah, in February, I got paid for January and February together. And then March, I had a really good month in March. I was being really consistent with my uploading. I had some videos do really well and I earned $151.60 and I then obviously got that paid out. 
However, in April and May, I was really crappy with my uploading. I wasn't consistent. I wasn't uploading. To be honest, I think I only uploaded one video in that whole like eight week time frame. So it's actually, a, I'm pretty impressed that I actually earned that without uploading a video. <laughs> but obviously, as you can see with April, I earned $93.99 because it was under the $100 threshold. I didn't receive that. And in May, I also didn't hit the $100 threshold. However, those two amounts combined pushes me over the $100 threshold and I did get it paid out in June. This month of June, you can see I've already earned $126 and we still have a couple of days left. How many days do we have left? We have one day left. So I'm definitely going to get paid out my June payment because I've hit over the $100. I'm going to run you up into June's analytics because yeah, here. Yeah. So I'm now going to show you my highest earning YouTube day. I can't remember if it's this month or if it was last month. If I go the last 90 days. So here, this is how it looks. So down the bottom here where these little icons are, this shows the video that you brought out. So as I said before, I brought out a video March 30th, didn't bring one out for all of April, brought one out in May, which actually that's not even a video. That was like, <laughs> that was a TikTok video that I brought out to see if YouTube has that like separate platform similar to like Snapchat Spotlight. I forget what it's called. TikTok, I mean, YouTube something. Anyway, that doesn't really count as the video, but it was like a 60 second TikTok. <laughs> anyway, then we move to June here. So you can see your earnings daily. So my account kind of stabilizes around the two, three dollar mark. Sometimes it goes up to four, sometimes it goes down to like a dollar ninety. But here, so in June 15th, on June 15th, I brought up my video of growing your TikTok and it brought in $7.62 on that day. And then if you look a week later, I brought out another video and it jumped up to $16.25. So that is my highest earning YouTube individual day. I'm going to go back because I'm pretty sure I had another high earning day. Yeah, here. $16.82. So my highest actual earning day is $16.82. And that was back in March. But again, this is fairly close too. So the fact that I don't have like a massive channel, what have I got? Let's go to my overview. I probably should have ran you through that at the start. Here, so you can see the live count over here. I've got 5,208 subscribers. You can actually click on this live count and it will bring it up and show you. Um, this is kind of cool because you can see where you've had like a lot of growth, but I like that my channel is constantly going up. There's no real dips in it going down or anything. I love looking through my YouTube analytics. Something else that I also go to is, if I go to audience, here you can see, uh, see it hasn't updated this yet. Yeah, that's still updating. But here you can see when you bring out a video or even like without bringing out a video, who your viewers are. So if they're returning viewers or if they're new viewers, I find that really interesting. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just wanted to give you a bit of an insight that like anyone can do this. Like I had no following whatsoever. I think I had around 900 Instagram followers and they're mainly people I went through school with when I first started my YouTube channel. I obviously have grown massively on TikTok. Actually today, the 29th at the 6th, I just hit a million followers on TikTok. If you want to learn more about my TikTok story, I'll link some of the videos below or on the screen. I love doing YouTube. I really enjoy doing the editing, filming process, the whole part of it. I love reading the analytics. Um, my partner and I are heading off on a trip around Australia, hopefully pending all of the border closures that are happening at the moment in Australia. Um, and I want to be able to share that because I love being able to look back on these videos as memories for myself. Like even if no one watched them, I still love that they're on YouTube because it's something that I can look back on. If you do have any questions regarding monetization, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.